Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today is a super exciting day because Layla and Adrian actually got approved for their dream home. So today is the day that they're moving in. And later, I'm gonna be taking Layla shopping for the baby because she's now in her third trimester. So that means the baby could be here any day now and we have to make sure that everyone is ready. So we're still in the process of unloading the moving truck. So let me go ahead and see what I can help with. Okay, looks like Adrian has that box and I'll go ahead and Take in the yoga ball because Layla can definitely use that because she is going through it right now. I feel so bad for her. But the house looks really good so far. Let's see where she's at. Hey, Layla. Um, I got the yoga ball for you. I thought you might find this helpful. I used it a lot for all of my pregnancies. I cannot take another day of this back pain. Like I said, use the yoga ball. Try to do some exercises, some light exercises. And I'm sure it'll be really helpful, okay? I hope so. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what their house looks like so far. Um, here's the kitchen. Uh, they have a couple snacks. We did do a quick grocery run just to make sure they had a couple things. And we did get the couch in here. Uh, this box should not be on their white couch, but it's fine. We'll clean it later. Okay, we also have the rug. And if we head over here, there's a little wardrobe in the closet. Some things we still have to order online, like they're getting a new desk and stuff for this area. And here's the downstairs restroom. Not too much going on, but let's take a look upstairs because I believe August is up here in one of these rooms. Let's check out their bedroom first. So here is their bed that Adrian was talking about in the last episode. It fits perfectly in here. And we did get someone to move the washer and dryer upstairs. It's not taking up so much space and it's not in an awkward position. And then this is what their counters are currently looking like. Looks like Layla has unboxed some of her products already. So everything is looking good so far. And this is the future nursery. Looks like August is in here. Oh, hi, Akila. Hey, how's everything going in here? This nursery is gonna look so cute once it's done. Good so far. I'm just setting up the baby monitor. Oh, okay. Because the crib is gonna be somewhere over here. So I think the camera's in a good position. Do you wanna take a look and see if everything looks good? Oh yeah, sure, I'll go ahead and see. Uh, view security cameras. Okay, um, yeah, I can see everything really clearly. If you step back, I could see you a little bit better. But this covers the entire room pretty much. I can even see Layla standing at the door. Hi! <laughs> hey, y'all! Hey, your dad just set up the baby monitor. Layla, we have some extra cameras. Are there any other areas you want them at? Oh yes, definitely. Follow me. Okay. Okay, well, while they're doing that, um, I can tell you guys the general idea for the nursery. So like I said, the crib's gonna be, I think we're gonna have the crib in the corner. Kind of angled. We might have to move this recliner a little bit, but of course they might paint the walls depending on what the gender of the baby is and They'll have a whole little theme or whatever. But I just feel so proud of Layla and Adrian. They've really come a long way. Okay, let me see what other things Adrian might need help bringing out. How's the moving truck looking? Can I help? There are a few more items left. Can you help me move the table inside? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, let's try and pull this table out on three. Let me make sure we're not gonna fall off. Okay, the ramp is right there. So, are you ready? Yeah, Mrs. Collins, I'm ready. 
Okay, so we managed to get this table down the ramp and now we just have to carry it through the door. We're probably gonna have to tilt it. All right, let's go, cause it's getting hot out here. Okay, so we finished bringing the table in and that was a bit of a struggle. I gotta do some stretches so I make sure I don't pull anything. You know, I am getting kind of old. That thing was heavy. Yeah, it was, but we still did it though. Okay, so for sure, one right up here in this corner. So heaven forbid, if anyone breaks in, it'll be caught on camera. Okay, sounds good. Would you be able to install one of those doorbell cameras for me? Of course. Perfect, because we don't got a peephole. And I was also thinking one more somewhere out here too. Would this corner be okay? Yeah, that's a great spot actually. All right, is that all? Mm -hmm. Good, because we don't have that many cameras. Okay guys, I think it's time for a little snack break because we've all been working really hard and I know I'm hungry. Did you guys figure out where you wanted to put all the cameras? And did. All right, well, let's see what you have. Cause like I said earlier, they don't have much. We can always order a pizza later, but for now you do have these um, nutrition bars. I saw these at the store, they looked new and I've heard pretty good things about them. I don't care what it is. I need something to eat as hard as I've been working. I'm pretty sure these things are gonna keep us pretty full. So let me try it. I'm surprisingly not that hungry, but my throat on the other hand, it's giving Sahara Desert. Wow, I can't believe that this is finally the day that they're gonna be moving out to their new house. I mean, college was one thing, they were just in the dorms, but this is big and it's in such a nice community too. Okay, well, guys, it is getting a little bit later. So I think Layla and I should probably head out to the baby store before they close. Cause I believe they're closing at like four and it's two and it's quite a drive away. So we're gonna do that and you guys can keep working, okay? Yes, I've been looking forward to shopping for the baby. Sure, sounds good. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Okay, come on, Layla, let's go. Have fun. We will. Bye, guys. I've never been to this baby store before, and y'all already know I'm gonna have to spoil my grandbaby. So this is gonna be really fun to do. If you got the time, I'd like to stay a while. Okay, so we just arrived at the Happy Baby store and this is gonna be fun. Let me go ahead and help Layla out of the car. Be careful, watch your step, take my hand. Oh wow, look at this display. This store's gonna have so many cute things and I think it's really gonna match your house aesthetic. This is too cute. All right, let's go ahead inside. Let's open the door and I'll follow behind you. Hi. Hi, welcome to Happy Baby. Is there anything I can help you with? Hey, ma'am. Um, actually, yes, she hasn't done any shopping for the baby. We don't quite know the gender yet, so we're trying to stick to just neutral colored things today. But is there anything you want to look at first? Ooh, this recliner. Okay, look, let's not break the bank today. Let's get stuff that you don't already have because the recliner that is already in the nursery, that's a good recliner. And I don't think you need another one, but maybe one of these stools so you can put your feet up. I think that would be a good addition. Let me see. Okay, it's pretty inexpensive. Oh, phew, the way you were looking at it, I was a little concerned. Okay, well, um, excuse me, um, I have a question. As for the things that are on display, do they, um, come in different colors? Like, for instance, this ottoman, uh, I see it's in green and yellow, but do you have different colors online that we can order? Currently, we only have the ones on display, but you can buy it online. Okay, good to know. And you have a lot of color options? We have a wide variety of colors, yes. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Layla. Come back. Layla, Layla, are you listening? Come on, let's start with one side of the store first so she can help us. 
and then we can get all the other stuff. So what color ottoman do you think you would want? You have the yellow recliner already. Do you want a yellow ottoman? Do you want to switch it up and have a little pop of color? I want to match the recliner. Okay, um, well, I don't think it's that shade of yellow. Unless it is. I thought your recliner was a little bit lighter. I guess we should have taken the picture. Does that look right to you? Close enough. Okay, well, I guess we can get this one, but this one's a little dirty. So maybe we can order it online so we don't have to clean it. Yeah, that would save us some time. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. What about the high chairs? Because they look really good. Um, any specific color? Do you want to go for... I know we're going for neutrals. So I'm thinking either white padding, beige padding, maybe a dark brown, all linen. What are you thinking? Beige. Okay, let's go for beige. Wait, actually, oh, okay, um, yeah. I think the padding is kind of interchangeable. Like, if you don't like the color, you can get a different one online or come back to the store. If the baby has an accident on the seat, I might not be able to see it as well if I get beige, but also not white either. Yeah, having anything white around infants or just young kids is not a good idea. So what were the other options? You could do a yellow. Yellow works for both genders. I mean, all colors work for all genders, but I know you're trying to stick to a theme here. Okay, yellow it is. Okay, sounds good. Um, and as I was saying before, you know, um, the cribs. Looks like they have standard linen wooden cribs. So is that okay with you or did you want something else? I think this style is pretty basic. You can't go wrong with it. But if, you, if you're not happy with this door, we can look at a different one. I mean, it's only temporary, so this will do. Okay, so we'll get the crib and the changing table too. Looks like the style matches. I actually think having a white changing table would be nice and you can have the, you know, the pad that the baby lays on in the color of the theme that the room is gonna be. Okay, okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll tell the nice lady at the front desk and I'll catch up with you. Um, afterwards. Hi, okay, so this is a lot, but the first thing that we would like is this little yellow ottoman over here, but I was wondering if we can place that for an online order, because that one's a little dirty. I mean, it's no problem, but you know, we'd rather just order it online. There's also um, a yellow high chair that we would like to order online as well. And the other two things are a crib and the changing table in white. Oh, we do have cribs in stock ready to take home today. The rest are for online orders. I can place it for you if you'd like. Um, yes, I would love that. That would be perfect. Um, and I can take the crib home. I think we have enough space in our trunk, so that works perfectly. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and give you uh, the shipping information and stuff. Yes, uh, the Garden Grove community. It'll be house number two. All done. Shipping should take about one to two weeks. Okay, let's hope she doesn't have the baby before then. Sounds good. Thank you. I'll get the crib on the way out. I think we're going to do a little more shopping. Okay, I got a shopping cart, so let's get this shopping out of the way. Um, am I seeing this correctly? What are we looking at? I'm confused. I didn't realize how expensive diapers and baby formula was. Girl, and we have four of y'all. So could you imagine how much we were spending? That's where a lot of our money went. But it's necessary, so let's go ahead and just throw it in the cart. All right, let's get these diapers. How many are in this pack? 22? That's not enough. We need two for now. Make our pockets hurt. Something gonna be hurting, all right. Okay, uh, yeah, that should be good for now. And can you put the Infamil in the, in the cart, please? I think getting two of those would be fine because there was a baby formula shortage. So they probably have a limit on the amount we could take anyways. Okay, there's that. Oh, there's baby bottles and they come with matching pacifiers and they come in packs of three. So that's handy. That's a need. Once you start weaning the baby off of, you know, that milk that comes from inside of you. Wait, 
Oh my gosh, I forgot all about that. We should definitely get you some nursing bras too. Just know I have a lot to give. You are a mess. Put the baby bottles in the cart. Which color are you getting? Green. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. And we have baby wipes. You know what? Um, I hope the lady isn't listening too closely. I know we're the only ones in here, but you know what you should do? You should kind of open up the um the baby wipes and test it out. Because I know sometimes they're a little dry and you don't want dry baby wipes. Okay, watch my back. Okay, okay, hurry, hurry. She's not looking, she's not looking. Oh no, why is it so dry? I say the same thing about your daddy's kneecaps. Dry. All right, so obviously that pack isn't right. Try the, try the next one. <laughs> Aw, I guess you don't need any training potties yet. We can always come back when the baby's a little older. Oh, I do see some baby powder though. Here, I'll go ahead and squeeze in. And I'll just get one thing of baby powder because this thing lasts a while. Might as well be a lifetime supply. This one is the one. Okay, good. Um, and it's not scented. Or is, what does it say? Lightly scented? Okay, that's fine. You don't want to use stuff that's too fragrant on the baby. Sometimes that's not good. I think we're good. This card is getting heavy already. What are we doing for clothes? Aw, oh, mom, look! Your baby does not need... A car. Give it, give it four years or so. Look how tiny everything is. Look at the little baby jeans. Okay, pick out a couple clothing items. Oh, get that one. That one's really cute. Oh, the little beige onesie with a bear on it. Not someone trying to hide this one. Yep, put that in the car too. They thought they were slick. Let's see. We didn't go down this aisle. So, maybe let's check it out. You and Adrian ordered the car seat online, right? Because we have to make sure the car is prepped too. Yup, I'm prepared. Okay, you have to get the teddy bear. We have this Fisher Price. Uh, learning lights and music. Grow and go with baby. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, it's like a little mat. That's cute. And then this one is the baby Einstein version. Which one do you like better? You have to decide for that one. <gasps> a four-in-one grow with me bathtub. One tub, four positions, comfy, smart sling, secure seat bar. Ooh. All right, let me put that in on the bottom of the cart. Baby Einstein. Okay, put baby Einstein in the cart. Okay, let's go ahead and put everything up here. Hi, ma'am. We're ready to check out. Here's the cart. Did you find everything okay? Everything and more. This is our first time here. Y'all have any, like, discounts or anything? Okay is an understatement. You'll definitely see us back here. Yeah, you will. So, you know, a little discount or something. Something to get us to come back. On Fridays, we have half off on onesies. And that's it? Just half off on onesies? What about, what about the baby bottles and the, and the huggies and the books and the toys? Just the onesies? That's it? Oh, Lord. How much is this, how much is this coming out to be? Right, like, $429.76. Damn. Okay, uh, your dad is gonna freak out when he sees this. Okay, uh, here's my card. Okay, can I at least get a receipt? Here's your receipt. Thank you. Um, hold on, I don't even see the... You didn't even give me the half off on onesies? Come on, Friday was a couple hours ago. Please! That was yesterday, not today. Should have come yesterday. Pockets are hurting. Is that, is that what you said earlier? It's fine. Okay. Uh, can we at least get some help with with the box? Because I you want me to like crawl up there and, and carry it myself? I'm just a little confused. Yeah, I can help with that. Okay, thank you. Well, we're going to try and get this thing out to the car. So I'll see you guys in a second. My legs are about to give out any second now. Okay, you go ahead and get in the car because I know you're tired. We somehow managed to get the crib into the car. So that's good. And I'll just put this 
in the back seat. Okay, we're gonna start heading home. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, so we just got back and I am so excited because we got a lot of cute things for the baby, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I can't wait to see what the crib looks like all put together. Me too. Uh, speaking of that though, I'm not gonna be the one bringing this box inside. So let's go get the guys. Oh, you didn't bring the key? Of course you didn't bring the key. Pregnancy brain. I mean, I could have at least remembered the key. What are they doing in there? I think I hear the drill. Oh, okay. I guess August is upstairs doing something. Oh, you're back. How did it go? We got so much stuff. We did, um, including the crib, um, which I'm not carrying inside. So where is where is my husband at? Yeah, um, hi, we're back. We did a lot of damage, but it's okay. It's for the it's for the grandbaby for the future. Hi, Dad. Can you help Adrian? Um, you know, carry the crib inside. It's just kind of sitting outside on the ground as long as it wasn't coming out of my pocket i told you not to say anything around your dad oh sure just kidding yeah she's totally just joking yeah yeah you know i think we actually deserve to kind of sit down and rest so let's just put the bags over here and let me get this ball out of your way actually this box is kind of heavy so let me help you move it okay move the box finally maybe you should sit on this side because there's some more space and are they out there moving the box oh yeah i could see them oh okay yeah just make yourself comfortable make yourself at home because this is your home now so it's fine i could just sit on the box actually you know what you can do mom uh Honestly, I'm afraid to ask, but what is it, dear? What can I help you with? You're right by them. You want um, a foot massage? Let me go ahead and just take your shoes off for you. I know that's right. How is something made for a little baby so heavy? Please don't scrape up the walls already. Oh Lord, August is struggling. Push! Are you pulling? Yes! Akela, give me a little push. We need to angle it around this corner. Then you need to turn. Okay, they're obviously struggling a lot, so I'll see you guys in a second. What was all that commotion? That was your dad and your boyfriend trying to bring in the crib. The crib is done, but it sounds like they're done. So let's go see what it looks like. I hope it fit perfectly because they were struggling for real. Come look, we're coming, we're coming. Y'all did that. Yeah, you guys did, it looks so good. And they even moved this over, so let's see. Well, actually, Layla, you do the honors and you see if this recliner fits a little bit better. It does, it fits perfectly. Wait, I wanna check the baby monitor. Yup, you can see the crib in perfect view. I might just fall asleep again. Just imagine a mini me in this crib. Aww. It's crazy to think that pretty soon we're gonna have a little one of ours running around here. I know. And grandma's always gonna be by to visit. Yay. I'm so happy to be starting a family with you. This is too cute. Aw, I couldn't imagine starting a family with anyone else. We are so proud of you guys. Okay, now help me out before I get too comfortable. There you go, much better. All right, so this box is definitely in the way. When is y'all's trash day? Cause this needs to go in the recycling. We're gonna have to spend a lot of time breaking these boxes up. Do you guys even know when trash day is? Did you guys read the emails at all? Tuesdays, I think, yeah. Okay, well, we'll try to have these all done by Tuesday. Okay, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!